Hey, welcome back everybody, it's Easy. Today we're doing a special video called The Ultimate Guide for Noobs, How to Ruin Your Base Forever. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you're a young kid and you just downloaded Clash and you decided to take a couple hundred dollars from your parents' bank account and upgrade your base all the way to level 10 and get one of every single troop, because that's the thing to do, and have all level 1 defenses and level 2 walls, you are making a huge mistake. Stop right now and finish watching this video and then realize what a terrible thing you've done to yourself. <laughs> this, this video is actually dedicated to Logan. He was a kid in our clan that we've had to kick. And we know better than to have young kids in the clan, but we, for some reason I liked him. And uh, he was just an overall general pain in the ass. He uh, wouldn't listen to anything we asked him to do. We were trying to help him. He couldn't do anything. Uh, he had a level 1 king. He was a Town Hall 9. He wanted to be in war. He couldn't get 20% in war. He got upset at something that I was telling him on one of my mini accounts. So he decided to leave the clan and go to our main clan and tell on me to me. Which is awesome, just so you know. Uh, so anyway, we decided to make this video to... To really to help people before they make this mistake. I know that that not everyone goes out and watches videos uh, Before they start to create their base most people uh, screw it up before they go out there and find out how to do it right But maybe you get lucky and you watch this first So we were gonna make the video and then I had something just awesome happen I had the most rush player that I've ever seen in my life wanting to join so I let him join to find out he was friends with the second most rushed pr player I've ever seen in my life that we've had in the clan um, so this is him right here his name is Gatson he's probably a really nice young kid um, I'm not saying he's not a nice young kid he's just made a mammoth mistake with his base um, he ha he's Town Hall 10 he has all level 1 or 2 defenses and he put the Infernal Towers out he's got the Expos out He's upgraded the Infernal Towers to level 2 and the, and the Expos to level 2. For those of you who know what to do and what not to do, those are monumental mistakes. So these are all of his troops. He got he has almost all the troops. He went out and got he went up and upgraded those barracks over and over again. So he's got all the troops all at level 1. And the problem with this is, for those of you who don't know, the problem with this is is that you can't do anything with level 1 troops. Level 1 troops suck. Um, to have all the troops is not a benefit. To have all the troops maxed is a big benefit. Okay, so uh, I, I'm ha I have a bunch of things going across the screen, the screen here. This is the new prevention number two. Never upgrade town hall before you max out the troops you're going to use in either farming or war. I'm not saying you have to max out every troop like, like I would really suggest, but if you're going to go to war and use certain troops, they should be maxed out before you move on to the next town hall level. You think you can get all the way to Town Hall 9 or 10 and then catch everything up? You can't. It's just not the way it works. It's too much work to do. It'll take you literally years. So, as I'm deciding to make the video, just the, the best things that could possibly happen just unfolded before my eyes. We had the young kid, Gadsden, join. And then he decides he wants to go and practice with the other young kid, Tommy. So, we get to watch firsthand these two super rush players attack each other uh, this is tip for noobs for number one having every troop is not an accomplishment maxing every troop is this is what we already mentioned earlier um, so as he's attacking this this is the town hall 9 that we're talking about and um, it's it's hard to watch really now for those of you who don't know what these types of bases can do to your clan um, when you when you start a clan war search if they're in the war lineup the algorithm that they use may consider these bases engineered bases and they may they may match your clan up with harder clans we've actually had to face level 10 clans as a level one clan because we had all these younger players that we didn't mind being in in the war we were trying to help them uh, we we know that if they have these Town Hall 9s that have no troops and no defenses, as long as they don't upgrade the defenses and they start upgrading the troops, we can maybe fix them. That's what we were thinking. But uh, we ended up fighting these level 9 and 10 clans as a level 1 clan. And I think it was because we had all these rush, super rush kids in the, in the clan. 
Uh, new prevention number three, never bring out the Expos and Funnel Towers, Eagle Artillery before you upgrade everything else first. That's very important because uh, Clash does what, they, what we call uh, base weight. Your base is graded based on the level of defenses that you have on the base. And when you bring out these elite defenses in Town Hall 9, 10, and 11, it really bumps up your base weight and it matches you up with much harder opponents. So there he goes. He did get a star. He got 51% or something like that. So uh, that, that was surprising enough right there. So now uh, I believe Tommy's going to attack the Town Hall 10. They're going back and forth here, Tommy and Gadsden. Um, and like I said, this is really hard to watch. So, moving on, you can you can just check out the attacks as uh, as we explain the do's and don'ts. Uh, the next tip number two: never attack a base with one of every troop. Use groups of the same troop to increase their benefits and decrease their weaknesses. What this means is that you may have every troop, but you don't want to bring one Valkyrie and one. Uh, dragon and one balloon and one baby dragon and one witch Just having one of every troop. They don't they don't complement each other like that You have to bring groups of certain troops and use them at with certain timing in order for everything to work properly uh, Good war attacks or good farming attacks even they're planned out and You bring in waves of different troops to do certain things you have certain objectives you want to do with all your all of your troops bringing one of every troop is not a good idea uh, new prevention number four never buy resources with gems uh, only gem well, you use your gems to, to buy time and what that means is you want to resource hunt and you want to earn the gold you want to earn the elixir you want to earn the dark elixir that gives you the experience that you're going to need to move forward. You don't want to go and spend gems and buy all these resources. Although Supercell would love you for that. And I'll probably send you a Christmas card. But by doing this, you are taking away the experience that you need to play. And honestly, most of the time, people that go and spend four or $500 on gems and just gem their base up and do what um, Gadsden's done right here, um, they're going to quit you, you, because you're going to get to Town Hall 9, you're going to get to Town Hall 10, you're going to start facing other Town Hall 9s and 10s, and you'll, you can't compete with them. Uh, tip number three. Now, see, this is great because I can't even keep track of my tips. Um, never donate your level 1 troops to clan mates asking for war troops, and never donate to the war clan castle. What this means is that if you're going to war, or if your clan is at war, and you have all level 1 troops, it doesn't matter that your Town Hall 9 and a Town Hall 7 is asking for troops. Don't give them your level 1 uh, Barbarians. You're not going to help them. You're going to actually hurt their attack. Let the, let the guys in the clan that have maxed out troops or high level troops donate to, to, the, to your clan mates that are at war. And as far as if you're in the war, stay out of the war clan castles. You, there's no, you have no business donating to the war clan castles if you have all level 1 troops. You want to let uh, the elders and co-leaders donate to the war clan castles there's usually plans involved there's usually groups of troops that they want in these clan castles so let them do all the donating I know you want to help I know I know a lot of you, the, you young players you want to do what's right you want to help you think you did the right thing by spending several hundred dollars on gems and, and pushing your base ahead so now you have a town hall 10 so you think you can help you know smaller town halls but I'm about to show you in this next uh, attack what happens to the rush town hall nines and rush town hall tens by much smaller town halls that are not rushed? There's no comparison between a maxed out town hall eight attack and a rush town hall ten defense. Um, so, if you're new to the game, my suggestion is to take your time. This game is meant to take a long time. Um, I've been playing for several years, and my main account is is a town hall 10 with level 30 heroes and the only way to really get much faster than that because I've had I mean I've had things upgrading every chance I could uh, the only way to get much faster than that is to spend a lot of money and I won't tell you how much money I've spent I've done that too <laughs> um, okay so in this attack right here this is uh, my mini account this is a little easy and this is attacking Gadsden, the Town Hall 10. 
and you'll see that with Town Hall 8 troops versus Town Hall 10 that is not upgraded properly, there is no contest at all. And I'm also upgrading the king, so there's no heroes in this attack. There's just fruit troops. I did bring clan castle troops. I did use some spell complement too. So, so I mean, I use everything, but uh, no clan, no uh, no heroes to speak of. He had both of his heroes, both of them on the side of the base, on the edge of the walls, both level one. They both died within three shots. I think a minion killed queen in thirty and and uh, three seconds. <laughs> and uh, just. For the record, I feel really bad for this kid here. I don't know how old he is. If I was to guess, he probably is not even allowed to play. He's probably under the age of uh, the 13 year old limit that Supercell has. Um, I feel bad for him because he wanted to get into the game. Um, I'm gonna show you what he did after we have some, <laughs> some text that was going on. And I was shocked. And I couldn't tell him, I could not. I wanted to tell him what he's done to himself, but I couldn't because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. So believe it or not, I'm not just a heartless person that, that's trying to laugh at these young kids that screwed everything up. And it's not just young kids that do it. Um, there are adults that just don't know any better. And they think that, okay, I'm gonna push myself all the way to Town Hall 9, then I'm gonna catch everything up. That's the plan. But what they don't realize is there's so much in Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10 that you just can't catch everything up. And meanwhile, you're getting pounded on by every single high-level town hall there is. So, okay, now, this is when we found out exactly how Gatson got his base. Um, or uh, he said that he had been playing for 10 days. So, uh, one of the other guys in the clan, Creeper, said, Well, that's impossible to have a town hall 10 in 10 days. And he said, let's see here. I had it in half speed, so I can't miss it. And I gotta get the glasses out. God, I'm getting old. Sucks getting old. Okay, yeah, he, there's Creeper saying it's impossible. And this is when uh, Gadsden said that he spent 476. And I said 476 gems or dollars. And he said dollars. So, let me explain what he did. He spent $476 on gems. He pushed his town hall all the way to town hall 10. He got every troop there was on the way up to town hall 10. And that means he must have upgraded all of his uh, collect, uh, storages enough to get to hold enough resources to buy all the stuff he needed. And now he's at town hall 10. He's got a level two inferno. He's got a level two crossbow. And here I am typing. I don't have the heart to tell him. Um, and what he's done is he has put himself so far behind because now it will take him two or three years to max out that base and to become a, a competitive player. Now, if he wants to be a competitive player and be able to three-star his peers, in other words, other Town Hall 10s, we're looking somewhere around 2019 where he can do that. Sorry, Gatson, but you really screwed up. Now... If you've done this to your base, I don't have much time left. If you've done this to your base, there is a way out. There is a, a small silver lining for you. Stop upgrading defenses. Just don't do it. I know your defenses suck already, but don't upgrade any defenses at all. And just focus on your troops. Um, upgrade troop after troop after troop after troop. And eventually, you'll have stronger troops in your defenses. And now, at this point, because your defenses are so weak, you should be getting matched up with weaker opponents than you. And at this point, you might be able to recover from this disaster that you've done to yourself, which is max out your base at Town Hall 10 and not upgrade any of your defenses or any of your troops. Biggest noob mistake you can make. Don't do this. If you have not done this, don't try it. This is like drinking poison, people. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody. I hate that I had to point it out with some of the guys that we, uh, we actually accepted him just to make this video. So thank you, Gatson. You are a superstar in my mind. Um, I, I'm sure his grandmother's going to kick his ass when she sees her credit card bill. <laughs> okay, we've made it to the end of another video. For those of you who are still here, you know the routine. You owe me a like. And for those of you that just joined us for the first time and have never subbed to the channel, throw us a sub. We need all of them we can get. We're trying to get to 100 to get a new URL. So thanks, everyone. I will see you later. This has been easy. Take care.